everyone welcome to mixer farm where we are going to learn about black soldier fly farming do you know this is very important for poultry fish and pig farming this is the best place please join the farm and let us learn more on how to grow black soldier fly for us to increase household income and also fight climate change. The farming does not need a lot of space. You only need a very small space to do such kind of farming. And it's going to help you have high household income. This is just one of the most juicy, high nutrient content for your poultry, for your pigs farming, and for fish farming. I'm your host, Ahukelo for Sustainable Innovation YouTube channel. Welcome. I'm Charles Adira. Uh, black soldier fly farmer and here we are uh, at um, Yamasaria Namfoy. Now black soldier fly is a fly just like the name indicates and it is a beneficial fly. It is a fly that has very high economic value. One of the aspects of uh, black soldier fly is that it does not cause any disease to humans and it is a fly which in itself does not eat. It is the larval stage that eats and it is the larval stage that is important to rearing of livestock. If chicken, fish and pigs eat black soldier fly, they perform very well. The black soldier fly supplies the livestock with all their protein needs. It will supply all the protein needs so that the farmer will only need to add other parts of the feed like carbohydrates. But the main important uh, feature of a feed is the protein content. Now, here we are at a rearing unit and in the rearing unit we have uh, different parts. One of the parts is a love cage. A love cage is where the insects mate. After mating, the insects will lay eggs that will later on turn into larvae, which is the product we are interested in. Now, in the love cage, we have an enclosure which is about three feet by two and a half feet by four feet. And it is built with a netting that encloses the insects so that they can get air, but they are not able to come out. Inside the love cage, we have places which the insects use to rest. And as you can see, inside we have put in a, a, a plant. The plant's purpose there is so that the insect can rest on it. And inside the love cage, you can also see we have nets hanging so that we can have a higher surface area for the insects to rest. Inside the love cage, we have what we call an egg-laying unit. An egg-laying unit consists of just some piece of timber which has been joined together by some rubber band. And in between the wood, you can see there are things that look like sawdust. Those are black soldier fly eggs. And one gram 
of black soldier fly eggs we sell at 2,000 shillings. As much as I'm saying that, that one gram contains thousands of eggs. So, as you can see, we are coming from insects, and the insect lays eggs, and the eggs we later on turn into the larvae, which is what we are interested in in this particular uh, farming. Now, one of the products that we have are the eggs like you have seen, because when we sell, then we get the money. But we can also take the process to another level by letting the larvae, the eggs to hatch, and then grow into larvae, which I'm going to show. And uh, we can have a look at just here. Now, I just put in those eggs into a substrate. That substrate is actually just wheat bran which has been made a bit wet and then the eggs hatch into the larvae which we need and this one you are seeing here is just about seven days old from eggs and you already you can see how much we have here it is enormous and in order to reach the consumption stage of the larvae you only need about 15 days. You can see the match that we have here, which is just about uh, seven days old. Now from here, the larvae will keep growing, but they grow very fast. All that we need for the larvae to grow is what otherwise would have been waste. For example, this is a farm where we just uh, get when you are growing any fruit you definitely have some waste those ones that are deceased those that have just fallen over so those are the ones we pick and then we cut it for them and then they eat if you have uh, chicken fish uh, um, fecal materials you can give them to feed on if you have kitchen waste you can give them to feed on if you have anything that has come from processing, even if it is liquid, you can give them to feed on. Now, the larvae will grow to another level because the insect stages, we have egg, larva, pupa, and then adult. So we have seen the adult, we have seen the egg, now we have seen the larvae, now we are going into another process, another stage, which the in insects turn to and it, in, it is in this bin that now we take the insects to reach the other stage. You can see now we still have the larvae but they are much bigger than what we have seen. These are approaching uh, 15 days. Now at this point they can be given to chicken or fish or pigs to eat so that they can give those pro desired protein content. But we can also be interested in continuing the propagation so that we have more of the materials. Now, this particular part where we are is a self-harvesting bin. Self-harvesting in that as you can see, when you look at this, you can see some of the larvae are still creamy white. But when you look at what is down here, you can only see the black. So that means the black, they harvest themselves. They are the ones who are able to climb and then fall. They are able to climb and then they fall. I can hasten that process by pouring in some water so that they get wet, and when they get wet, it is easier for them to climb. And it is only the black ones that will climb, thereby giving me the chance to take them to the love cage so that they can hatch into insects that are going to give me uh, the future stock.
Now, if you look at these two stages of black soldier fly, on this other part, we have larvae at different uh, stages. As you can see even from physical appearance, you can see there are some, some creamy white. But when you look at this side, all of them are almost black. The difference is all these are destined to go to make more parent stock. But this, some of them can be used as feed, now the creamy white, but the black ones are also destined to go to make parent stock uh, so that when we go to a separator, then the black ones will move along the ramp and harvest themselves, but the uh, creamy white will remain and will either grow further to make the parent stock or it can be given to livestock as feed. The pupa stage here, after a short time, they will fail to move. They will look like they are dead. But then, at that point, they will be at pupa stage. And the end of pupa stage is actually the complete insect coming out. And if you look at this, you can see it is hollow. That means an insect basically just came out from this shell. And when I look at this, I can see there is a part that is still moving. It is here. This one is still, uh, still not term, turned into pupa. But when it turns into pupa, it will stop moving. It will look like it is dead. Then after a few days, let's say some four, five days, then a fly will emerge from the shell. And if it emerges from there, that is the final size. It's not that it starts growing. It just emerges at a final st uh, size. And the, from the time it has emerged, it just starts mating. It's not that it, it will take some days. They, it emerges and it, it performs all the operations of, a, of an adult insect. Okay. Uh, let the insects lay. They need some a bit terrible smell. Mm. So that terrible smell, whichever place it can come from, for me, uh, I get it from the uh, inner materials of fish. They like laying where there is that terrible smell. I think it's because uh, they, uh, uh, they, their minds are attuned to think that that's where there will be food. So. In the process, inside here, if you look at this, you can see there is, um, there is a, a, a container which has been covered by some bark. That container, inside it has the remains of the, the intestines of fish. After some time, you know, they smell. So that is why, that is the smell that attracts them to go and lay eggs on that wood, wooden material. Now, in a nutshell, that is what is involved in rearing of black soldier fly and, of course, its beneficial effects to poultry, fish and pigs. Thank you so much for watching this black soldier fly farming episode. Please feel free to leave us a comment on what you have learned. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your network. Together we can learn. Thank you.